Harvest, transport, and storage of fresh humeral hands osteochondral allograft, step-by-step -step protocol. The surgical technique for harvesting the proximal humerus extremity consists in performing a deltopectoral approach using the coracoid process and the lateral surface of the humerus as anatomic references. After skin incision, the deltoid and the pectoralis major muscles are respectively shifted laterally and medially. To improve visualization, a pectoralis major tenotomy is performed, and the deltoid muscle is detached from the lateral and posterior surfaces of the humerus with the age of a surgical removal. Subscapular stenotomy is performed in its insertion on the humeral lesser tuberosity. Teres major tendon is also detached from the crest of the humeral lesser tuberosity. The rotator interval is opened with tenotomy of the long head of the biceps in the region of the supraglenoid tubercle. In the posterior humeral surface, the origin of the triceps muscle lateral head is sectioned. Proximal humeral extremity resection is performed 10 to 15 cm below the humeral greater tuberosity. The tissue is put up in 0.9% saline solution and is stored in triple sterile plastic packing, appropriately sealed and contained corpse donor identification, tissue identification with laterality and harvesting date. Packages are stored in a container at controlled temperature and sent for processing at the tissue bank. When removing tissue from the transport container, temperature, weight, and visual analysis of the packages are performed and registered. The tissue is then stored in the tissue reception refrigerator until processing at 4 Celsius degrees. Tissue processing is performed in an ISO 5 classroom located within the tissue bank by a member of the staff as soon as the team arrives in the facility. Processing is performed in a sterile room with negative pressure, organized in three tables. In Table 1, two sterile flasks are prepared for pre- and post-lavage. In Table 2, all surgical instruments, as clamps and scalpels, sterile drapes, syringes, oscillatory saws and batteries, and the latte, are positioned. Finally, in Table 3, is prepared with the sealer, the scale, the culture medium, and the packages. The first step of processing begins with the opening of two of the three sterile packages containing the tissue in Table 1. The physician catches the inner package, which is the most sterile, with a surgical clamp, and opens it in a sterile flask for pre-lavage. In Table 2, tissue is fixed in a conventional latte. The skeletonization begins with removal of all remaining muscular and tendinous insertions using scalpels and mechanical saws, leaving the proximal third of the humerus only with cartilage and bone. At the end of this step, a tissue fragment is collected for histopathological evaluation. In the sequence, the tissue returns to table 1 for continuous lavage with 0.9 saline solution in a second flask. Then, tissue is dried with sterile compresses and transported to table 3, where osteochondral tissue is measured with a graduated scale. Tissue weighting is performed in a digital scale. After measurements, osteochondral tissue is stored in a sterile plastic package containing the preservation medium, and then stored in the quarantine refrigerator until the results of all the microbiological and histopathological tests are known. If tests are negative, tissue is ready for transplant and patient surgery can be scheduled. Computerized tomography is used to measure the size of the humeral head cartilage defect. Axial images are obtained immediately below the coracoid process. A circle is positioned over the humeral head and then a line is drawn from the lesser tuberosity to the posterior margin of cartilage adjacent to infraspinatus insertion and a second line tangents to the defect region towards the anterior line. The angle between these lines is denominated defect angle. Based on the defect size, the size of the humeral head allograft can be determined. At the time of surgery, an osteotomy is performed in the anatomical neck of the graft for isolation of the humeral head fresh osteochondral allograft, which is adapted for transplantation and to fill the cartilage defect, restoring the spherical humeral head anatomy.